Crystal Flies. We use around 30 a week minimum with natural resin refreshes and farming artifacts. They can be a little bit of a pain to farm. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die! I'm going to go over various spots that have a good amount of crystal flies that are very easy to get in a short amount of time. I'm also going to take into consideration different levels of player progression, offering options for every single region, and hopefully considering different platforms with different loading speeds that might make some spots more appealing than others. Let's start off with characters that you should consider having in your party when farming crystal flies. Sayu and Yao Yao will be absolute assets, especially in slower loading platforms or mobile where controls may be a little bit more sluggish. It'll prevent you from scaring them away, except for when you gather the very first one in a certain radius. Sayu and Yulan will both help you get around the world quicker to various crystal fly locations. Due to Yulan's skill having no actual damaging hitbox during the use of the skill, you can actually use it to travel through crystal flies and potentially get them before they can fly away. Wandurer can also help you gather crystal flies as well as get around the world quicker. I consider him to be the best character for gathering crystal flies. The only caveat is you can't use your skill in the vicinity of them because it is a startup hitbox that will destroy a lot of crystal flies. However, you just use it at a safe distance and then after that, his element skill allows him to be one of the best at collecting crystal flies in very large groups before they ever get a chance to fly away. In cases where crystal flies do start to scatter and you can no longer reach them but they are still flying away, teleport away far away to trigger a loading screen and teleport back and they will be in their original locations and allow you to collect them again. Also be wary of the rain. Much like me through most of my life with straightening my hair, crystal flies are extremely terrified and adverse of the rain and will just not spawn. So if you notice it raining in a region, perhaps not try to go to spots where crystal flies are, change the time, and maybe come back. Also, sometimes it just might not be your day and there are plenty of other spots to use. So let's start with Mondstadt. We're going to start off with a lot of people's favorite and first interaction with crystal flies, the Statue of the Seven at Windrise. There's a very good amount of crystal flies here. Now they are a little bit spread out and this is honestly a little bit annoying to gather, but it is a very good spot nonetheless. However, once you have access to more regions, I would recommend dropping this area in favor of quicker, easier spots. Once done there, you're going to head to the Statue of the Seven West near Don Winery. Here you'll find a group of crystal flies immediately on top of the Statue of the Seven. Now be careful not to interact with the Statue of the Seven as that will make gathering these a lot more difficult. This is a location where having Yao Yao or Sayu in your party will allow you to wait around and maybe give them a little bit of a better position so you have a better chance of gathering them in time and not interacting with the statue. Otherwise, yeah, just wing it because it's a very quick teleport and then just try to grab them. To then if you go over to the west a little bit more, you'll find two more crystal flies. Next, we're going to head a little down south to the Viridescent Veneer and Maiden Domain. We're going to travel along the path to the west and off to the sides of the path there are going to be various crystal flies on the hills. Now this will probably be the best area if you're looking to minimize loading screens as much as possible due to extreme loading times, or maybe you just don't like traveling around a lot. You can either come to the domain that I said, or you can teleport to a waypoint to the west of the Dawn Winery and start from there. Both are great options, and honestly, I do both. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I do this area. Another great aspect of the Dawn Winery is that many of the crystal flies in this area are very spread out. That means that when you collect one, you don't necessarily alert the other ones. Now, this isn't the case for everyone, and some of the ones up on the houses can be difficult, especially if you don't have Sayu or Yao Yao. But if you have them, you're going to have a great time in this area and get more than enough crystal flies than you need in a single day. All you need to do here is run circles around the Dawn Winery vineyard, and you'll find various crystal flies just chilling by themselves in the vines. Finally, run west where you'll find three crystal flies up on a ledge by themselves near the waypoint. With that, we're done Mondstadt and on to Dragonspine. Head to the waypoint next to the Frostbearing Tree, and from There's there no you're going to head northeast, right. but mostly yeah. north right now. Head past the small camp of Fatui and then turn to your right. Sitting down on this ledge, you'll find two crystal flies very close to each other. It's very easy to grab both of them at the same time. Head southeast from there, and you're aiming for the little island in the water. Here you'll find three crystal flies you can grab. One of the first of many areas that can be greatly benefited by having Wander in your party. Next up, head to Albedo's Camp Waypoint and then follow the road to the west. After a short run, you're going to come to a tower, climb the hill to the left of it, and then you'll find three crystal flies sitting on the top. It can be nice to have Kazuha at the ready here, it's pretty easy for them to fly away. Next up, we are heading to the most southwest waypoint of Dragonspine. Immediately northwest of landing on the waypoint, you'll find a single crystal fly just sitting in the road. After that, you're going to want to head north to the stream. Now, the stream leads into a tunnel where you'll find three crystal flies sitting in there. After you finish grabbing those crystal flies, head west along the river and eventually you'll find a waterfall. Go down there and you'll find a few crystal flies scattered about. These ones can be a little bit annoying to get, so if you want to skip this part, I completely understand. I would too because there are much better spots later. They also have far fewer angry things around to stop you. 
Now that we're done saying hello to everyone's favorite mechanic, Sheer Cold, it's time to move on to Liyue. Head to the Northwest Island Waypoint and immediately run south to a rock. Sitting on this rock, there will be two crystal flies. After grabbing those, you're going to follow the dirt path south across a bridge where you'll find two crystal flies to the right. Teleport to the Noblesse Oblige Domain, then run south and to the left you'll see a tunnel entrance. In here you'll immediately see a few crystal flies that you can grab. After grabbing those you can run a little bit more through the tunnel slash canyon and then find a couple more, but they can be a little bit annoying to find and I understand if you just want to grab the initial three. Now head over east and teleport to the Liyue Weapon Material Domain. Turn around and you'll see two tunnels slash caves. You're going to want to skip the first one and run to the second one past this tree, and in there you'll find two crystal flies, and even a lizard if you want it, and some Dr. Lucas Jade. You know, for if you still want to ascend Beto. Next up, we will be heading south to the archaic Petra and Retracing Bolide Domain. Immediately after teleporting here, you'll find a handful of crystal flies just flying around. Catching these can be a little bit annoying. Remember, you can always teleport back if you start to freak them out, and then force them to respawn in their original locations. After getting all the ones in the main area, you're going to want to go off to the ledge here and you'll find one crystal fly just flying down by itself. After you grab that crystal fly, teleport back to the waypoint which you should be close enough to to have no loading screen. Then you want to turn to the west, go out this tunnel, follow to the left around the corner where there will be two more crystal flies on the hill. After grabbing those two crystal flies, you're going to want to follow the path leading up the mountain. A little ways up, you're going to find a hole looking down into where you were outside the domain. You're going to find two crystal flies up there, and as well, you might see some that you missed earlier. Next, teleport to the waypoint southwest of Liyue up on the mountain. From here, you're going to head to a cave past some hilly churl, and inside that cave is a very dense area of crystal flies. One thing to note here is that you gotta be really careful of not setting yourself on fire. If you inflict yourself with burning, sometimes it can cause some problems in here. You might set the grass on fire, which can, I think, pretty, I'm pretty sure, destroy some of these crystal flies. So be wary of that. Also, once again, wander, fantastic to have here. Kazuha is another great one to have, can help you get up on these walls. Now onto the chasm, starting with the surface, teleport to the Statue of the Seven on the surface of the chasm again, and immediately to the north, it's a really short run, you're going to find three crystal flies in a field. If you're looking for one of the laziest routes, this is one of the first must-include spots, as it's very quick to teleport to, and there's three crystal flies right there with really nothing to obstruct you. With that, we are already done the surface of the chasm, now we're going to head underground, head to the waypoint by the Ruined Serpent, and pretty much immediately after spawning here, if you look towards the direction of the Ruined Serpent, you'll see three crystal flies just hovering in the air. A fantastic spot to have Kazuha to use as they will start to fly away and just be at varying heights. Another great spot to use the teleport away trick to force them to respawn. After grabbing any stragglers or just accepting that it got away, then you're going to want to start gliding to the left. Up and over this big rock in the way, you'll find a couple crystal flies sitting down on the ground. As with any crystal flies, generally a good idea to start with the higher altitude one first so you can just glide over to the other one, climb up and over this wall to the southwest, and you will see more crystal flies just chilling. With the climbing in the short run, I understand if you want to skip these ones, I would too, but they are an option if you just want to see more of the chasm or maybe also mine while you're down here because these are fantastic mining spots. Next, head to the waypoint to the east of the underground waterways where you're going to want to turn around, run southwest through a tunnel where you'll find three crystal flies in the opening. Wind rises. That's the chasm already, on to Enkonomiya just to include everyone, but honestly, I wouldn't exactly recommend coming here, but there are two pretty good spots. Head to the waypoint that is broken and actually doesn't send you on the waypoint at all. I can't believe this is still glitched or intended, who knows? But in any case, head to the west, <laughs> stick to the right side of this divider, and then down here you'll find four crystal flies that are so spread out that they don't seem to aggro each other, and by aggro I mean warn each other that you know, danger is imminent. So even if you're on mobile and you have really sluggish controls, uh, you'll still be able to get these ones really easily, you would seem. Teleport to the top rightmost waypoint in the Narrows, and from there, you're gonna to wanna to jump down to the left and then follow the wall till you find a tunnel entrance. Right at the start of that tunnel entrance, you'll find three crystal flies. Grab those, and with that, Enkonomi is done already. Thank God. On the first island of Inazuma, you're going to want to head to the waypoint south of the Biako Plains and then head to the north. You'll find three crystal flies sitting in a field, as well as some flowers where you can farm some whopper flowers on a daily basis if that's still something you need to do. 
Next up, we're teleporting to the Chinju Forest Waypoint. From there, you're going to run west. Eventually, you will find one lone crystal fly sitting on the hill. From there, head north where you will eventually find its friends. Another lone one will be sitting up on this hill. And then immediately after that, rush into the cave because that they, the other ones have probably already been warned and they are going to start flying into the ceiling and be a pain in the ass to collect. Next, we're heading to the teleport waypoint by the domain on Sarai Island. Immediately turn around and climb up the wall. Once you're up there right away, you should see three crystal flies. After you pick those three up, you're going to head to the east and a little bit north across this road, and there you should find two more crystal flies. Immediately east of here, you're going to find a small island with a waypoint on it. Go there, and right away, you're going to find three more crystal flies. This island also has a good amount of nobushi on it, so if you're looking to farm two things lazily every day at once, this is a pretty good place to go. Now there's one last spot worth mentioning. If you teleport to the waypoint that would normally take you to the Thunder Manifestation and glide south, you can end up on an island. On the far west of this island is a very, very dense cluster of crystal flies, as well as a very good mining spot for Inazuma and Ore. Now I would not recommend gliding here every day at all. The glide is rather long and it's kind of annoying to get to. However, there are portable waypoints. You can set up a portable waypoint here and make a habit of logging out here every day and logging in and just immediately collecting the crystal flies. And lastly, we have Sumeru, literally the best place for crystal flies. It revolutionized crystal fly farming like the chasm did for mining. We're going to start off with this waypoint south of Sumeru City. Just like the Windrise one, there's going to be crystal flies immediately on top of the waypoint. Except with the waypoint, you don't need to worry about accidentally clicking it. Now open your map and head over to the left side of the grassy area of Sumeru and go to this waypoint to the northeast of Old Vonarana. Upon getting here, you may not notice any crystal flies right away. You may see one, but you gotta look up. They start up pretty high. You can wait around if you have someone like Yao Yao or Sayu, and they may glide down to a more acceptable level. Or if you have Wanderer, you can just grab them right away anyway. After getting those crystal flies with whatever method you choose, you're going to want to run down the hill north and then go down to the road. Here you'll find two crystal flies. Once you have those two, you're going to continue to run north. Up here, you're going to find a lot of crystal flies, and they're going to be spread out. Some of them may be trickier to get because of the elevation in this area and just how they're spread out, but there are quite a few here. And even after you grab these ones that you can initially see, you run up a little bit more over the ledge, and you'll find even more crystal flies. With that, that means we are done with my favorite parts of the grassy lands of Sumeru, and we are onto the star of the show, the first half of the Sumeru Desert. Now, the desert is amazing. If you're only gonna go to one place, you're gonna wanna go here. One, I do not believe it rains here naturally. I think there are ways you can make it rain, but it's not supposed to. At the Statue of the Seven, you're immediately gonna find three crystal flies. Don't kill one like I just did. Go down a little southwest and head to this waypoint to the east of this small oasis. Immediately, right upon spawning, you're going to find three crystal flies that you can grab right away. Now head to the waypoint directly east of here, and this is pretty much the exact same thing again. These crystal flies are just a little bit further away. You turn around, and in the distance, you'll see them sitting on a rock. Head up and just southeast of Kajna Soot, you're gonna find a waypoint there. After spawning in, you're gonna head to the right, and after a short little run, you'll find three crystal flies on the side of the hill, also clustered together just like the others. After that, you run to the east where there'll be three more crystal flies among two large fungus. Everything that I showed you in this video will get you about 125 crystal flies, give or take, you know, given mistakes and what you skip in this guide. However, I would recommend you stick with the first half of the Sumeru Desert, and that would get you 15 crystal flies a day with pretty much like a minute of work. I wish you the best of luck with farming artifacts with condensed resin. Thank you to my members and my patrons for supporting me. Thank you to you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Attaboy!